Hi, this is Charles Nenner, a special update about Bitcoin. Uh, this morning, it's April 19th, uh, we woke up, Bitcoin was down almost 20%. And uh, we want to take a look, a special look at the intraday updates and see where it's going from here. Here, we look at the intraday charts, like many times we sent out in our intraday updates. And we see we got a buy signal around 55, 5600. And our upside price target was 6400. And we took profit around 6400. But for investors who didn't want to go out, we gave a sell stop at 6300. Now, what we see is that after the sell stop at 6300 was hit, uh, suddenly there was a, almost a meltdown of the, of the Bitcoin for about 20%. I just want to explain why these levels are so important. First of all, the self-fulfilling prophecies, because Bitcoin has now been accepted by a lot of traders, and a lot of traders are technical traders. Most traders don't have cycles and price targets, but they look at support and resistance levels. So that's why once this level of 6,300 is, is broken, then a lot of selling comes in. And then what happened was then we wake up the next morning, and we see that Bitcoin had a big drop, uh, almost 20% from the high. So again, how do we use my system? We take a buy signal like we did around 55, 5600, and for conservative traders, uh, go out when the price target is hit. The upside price target was 6400. It went to 6500, but don't get carried away. That can happen for a couple of hours. And then if you don't want to go out, at least uh, at 6300, the next time, if a situation like this uh, is coming up, take the sell signal and stand aside. For now, we're standing aside. Uh, the cycle is still up. Uh, so we're not sure that this is start of a bear market, um, but we have no buy signal yet. So we're standing aside until we get a new buy signal. 